Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can bypass a BIOS password and install Windows on a BIOS locked computer. Now, this is not about how to remove BIOS password from any computer. If you are like most everyday Windows users, you almost never have to do anything with your BIOS until when you want to install or reinstall Windows on your PC. Of course, there are other times that one could need the BIOS password as well, but those are usually some more advanced technical stuff that is quite uncommon for typical everyday users. So if you have a computer that the BIOS is password protected and you want to install Windows or reinstall Windows through a USB device but you can't get across to change the boot order to boot from the USB, then this could be the solution for you. So first here are the tools we'll be using for this procedure. A Phillips head screwdriver or a Torx screwdriver depending on the kind of screws you have on your PC. A USB SATA adapter cable like this one and of course a bootable USB with Windows installation files it doesn't matter what version of Windows you have now if you haven't made a bootable USB flash stick with Windows installation files you can check out this video I made on that I will leave the link in the video description so here I have this laptop which I would like to install a fresh copy of Windows on so I connect the bootable USB stick with Windows installation files and then press the power button now to boot from the USB, I will hit the escape key. And then here it says press F9 for boot device option. And when I press F9 key, I would see this screen here asking for password, which I don't have. And now if I choose to go to the BIOS, so here I will restart the PC again. And here it says press F10 for BIOS setup. Now when I press F10, I see the same screen asking for a password. So basically there is no way I can change my BIOS settings to boot from the USB to install Windows since I don't have the password. This problem is more common with used laptops. Normally the laptop doesn't need the BIOS password to boot up. So it's easy to forget to ask for the BIOS password from the previous owner until a time like this when you want to change the boot order. And oftentimes trying to remove the BIOS password can be a pain given that there is no generic way to remove BIOS on all computers. Different brands and models will require different approaches. Now, After a series of failed attempts, I discovered this simple approach for the case of installing or reinstalling Windows on such computer. Now first you need to locate your laptop hard drive compartment and then unscrew to remove the hard drive. Now attach the hard drive to a USB SATA adapter cable and then attach it to some other computer. Now the first thing you want to do is to back up the files you have on this drive if necessary. For that you open the drive from the computer folder, then open the user account folder, select the user you want to back up. Now this might take a while to open so you might need to wait a bit. With this folder open you can simply copy any files or folders you may need and back them up on another storage because the next process would completely remove all files and data from the attached drive so ensure you back up your files before proceeding with the next step now after the backup eject and disconnect the hard drive Then go to your Windows search and type CMD. Right click on the CMD app from the search result and choose run as administrator. And hit yes on the user account control. On the command prompt window, type the command disk part as shown on the screen and hit enter. On the disk part prompt, type list disk and hit enter. Then Take note of the disk currently listed on the terminal. Here as you can see I have disk 0, disk 1 and disk 2. Now connect the hard drive once again and wait for it to show up in the computer folder. Then go back to the terminal and run the list disk command once again. Here you should see an additional disk which was previously not listed. This should be the attached hard drive. Now using the corresponding disk number of the drive, type the command select disk and then the number of the disk you just attached which in my case is disk 3 and hit enter. It should say the disk is now the selected disk. Here type the command clean and hit enter. Now 
After a short while, you should get a message saying the process is successful. Then type exit and hit enter to leave the disk part environment. Close the terminal and eject your hard drive. Now remove the hard drive from the SATA adapter and firmly attach back to your hard drive compartment and then return all the screws. Attach the bootable USB stick once again and press the power button to start the installation process. Now this time you don't need to press the escape or any function key to boot to BIOS. Your computer should automatically load up Windows installation from your USB. And from here the rest of the installation process should go accordingly. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.